Now, the French Prime Minister has condemned the violence that's accompanied mass demonstration against reform of the country's pension system. There were clashes in numerous cities on Thursday as more than a million people took to the streets. Vincent McAvenny reports. Bordeaux's town hall set alight by protesters overnight. More than a million had taken to the streets across the country through the day, angry at President Macron's raising of the retirement age from 62 to 64. In Paris, where over 100,000 had marched in a largely peaceful demonstration, the night was also hijacked by violent protesters. Running battles through the capital centre between small groups and the police saw bins set on fire, projectiles hurled and tear gas launched in response. There were clashes too in cities, including Lille, Strasbourg, Nantes and Toulouse. Overnight, the interior minister visited police headquarters. Since this morning, police have been the target of unacceptable attacks. 149 have been injured, some of them seriously. They've been hit with acid, Molotov cocktails and cobblestone. Labour protests are not uncommon in France, but what has irked huge swathes of this country this time is the way President Macron made his pension reforms, forcing them through without a vote, then appearing on television to double down. I mean, it was seen by pretty much everyone as a middle finger to the entire population. I mean, people were angry at already, and he just threw a, more, a lot more oil on the fire. If Parliament had voted for it democratically, I probably wouldn't be here at this protest today. I'm not a militant, and protesting isn't what I like to do. More protests are planned for next week, which could disrupt a state visit by King Charles and Camilla, Queen Consort, who are travelling to Paris this weekend. But President Macron made two promises when he first ran for office, to reform France and unite it. This battle is forcing him to choose which promise he most wants to keep. Vincent McAvinney, BBC News.